Well, that certainly came out of nowhere. I guess you could say we never saw it coming. <laughs> Shot, I'm trying my best. Hello everybody, HTM here. So this is gonna, this news video is gonna be um, sort of a speculation video about the future of Smash Bros Ultimate updates and a few, and talking about a few 3.0 leaks and data mines here and there to see if they were real or not. So yeah, this is gonna be pretty interesting to talk about, so let's go to the first point. Okay, so this next uh, leak or point is pretty big. So, if you guys, I never talked about this in my videos, but if you guys remember, there was a leak a while ago there on 5chan, which is, I think, Japanese 4chan. And it was basically saying that Ur, um, Urdrick from Dragon, Ca uh, Dragon Quest would be the next DLC fighter. And everyone was believing it was real because the, uh, de uh, developers, a developing studio... The leak predicted that a developing studio would be developing a Grand Blue Fantasy fighting game, and that came true. However, that leak said that Jack Frost, which is a persona from Persona 5, what are the mascot, or correct me if I'm wrong, but it could be the, it's either the mascot of Atlas, or it's like the, or it's from, uh, it's a persona from Persona 5, although I think it's both. So, uh, that leak said that Jack Frost, quote-unquote, Jack Frost would appear with a skill. Jack Frost would appear on screen with a skill. However, Jack Frost is nowhere to be seen in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So, yeah, ever, a lot of people are assuming this leak was, uh, fake and they, the person who made this leak just got lucky. I, too, believe, I believe so. So now everyone's saying that Erdrick from Dragon Quest won't get into Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Um, yeah, I sort of believe it. Uh, the Five Chan leak was fake, and Vergaben, who was Vergaben, was a reliable leaker for the base game of uh, for the base game of Smash Ultimate. But for DLC, he's gotten like nothing right so far. So yeah, Vergaben says that we'll pro we're probably getting Erdrick from Dragon Quest as a square up. I do not trust Vergaben anymore, like I did, like I used to, for the base game. So, uh, yeah, Erdrick Erdrick still has a shot. Don't get me wrong, but um, I'm not I'm not saying to higher your expectations for the next DLC fighter. Just keep them low in case we uh, do get Erdrick. I re I really don't want Urgic Urgic. I don't like him. I'm not I'm not interested in Dragon Quest in the slightest. So yeah, I don't really want him. But even the even if the five chan leak was fake that listed Urgic and Vergaben is getting all these stuff all this stuff wrong, it's still possible we could get Urgic as our second square rep. However, I'm going to be talking about uh the possible, um, who is the next, uh, DLC fighter, uh, wh who could be the next DLC fighter besides Erdrick, because Erdrick has less of a shot than he does now. Other people are saying, some people are saying Erdrick, um, Erdrick, this did not hurt Erdrick's chances in the slightest. Um, yeah, actually, I don't believe this, Erdrick, this severely hurts Erdrick's chances. However, um, don't uh, don't hire your expectations just yet. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about who the second DLC fighter could be. So first up, we obviously have Erdrick from Dragon Quest. But before we get into who I think could be in the... Um, before I get to into who I think could be the second DLC fighter, I just want to mention that... Um, some of these factors are relying on uh, code names in the files, which um, one of them, uh, one of the code names was named Brave, 
all of the stats for Brave were put onto Ike, I think. Uh, Brave is floaty, uh, stuff like that, so I'm going to be basing some of my chances for certain characters off of the Brave stats as well as the code name. So, yeah. Uh, let's uh, get into the first character, which is Erdrick. So, Erdrick is obvious already. Erdrick is obvious already to be the second DLC fighter. A lot of people are thinking he's going to be the second one. Um, he has less of a chance than he does now because of Vergaben and... Uh, Vergaben and the 5chan leak severely hurting his chances. Just don't hire your expectations yet, which is what I said um, uh, in the previous clip. Uh, yeah. So there's not really much else to say about Erdrick since I talked about him a whole, a whole lot in the last segment. So I'm going to move on to my next character prediction. So my next character prediction is Banjo-Kazooie from the Banjo-Kazooie franchise. So... Uh, there was a leak a while, or not necessarily, not necessarily a leak, but it was a, it was a glitch. It was a glitch in the game, in the, in Smash Ultimate. So if you went into all-star mode with certain characters, like Duck Hunt and, uh, me Sword Fighter, I think your save data would be corrupted. So people are theorizing why the, why these specific characters are glitching out the game. Because I think there was also another glitch with Duck Hunt and Me Sword Fighter. I, I forget what the glitch was. I think you had to use Duck Hunt's side B or something. But, yeah. So these, so these two specific characters are glitching out the game for some reason. So people are theorizing that these two characters are going to be bases for other DLC fighters. And this is why they're glitching out the game. And I believe this theory since uh, Duck Hunt could be like a... Duck Hunt could be a base for Banjo-Kazooie. And Me Sword Fighter... Me Sword, Me Sword Fighter... Me Sword Fighter could have been a base for Joker. Or he could have been... Or he could be a base for Erdrick, although I hope not. So this brings up the possibility that Banjo-Kazooie could be our second DLC fighter. Banjo-Kazooie also fits the stats of Brave, uh, the codename Brave. Uh, you, the other codenames Jack and, Jack and Pakun for Piranha Plant and Joker, Pakun being for Piranha Plant and Jack being for Joker, those started with the name, those code names started with the letter of the character's respective names. So if we're going off of that, Brave could be Banjo Kazooie's uh, code name. Also, ban yeah, Banjo Kazooie happens to fit the, the stats of Brave. Brave is floaty. Uh, Brave, Brave uh, weighs. I forget the weight stats of Brave, Brave, but I'm pretty sure it weighs more, he, Banjo-Kazooie weighs more than Mario, or Brave weighs more than Mario, and ban and what do you know, Banjo-Kazooie, uh, Banjo-Kazooie is like almost as tall as Mario, and he would probably fit um, Mario's weight. And he also has the, a bird in his backpack, so that would probably increase his weight. So yeah, he's just a bit, um, yeah, he's more, he has more weight than Mario. Uh, Brave is, Brave is also in between the height of, he, Brave is taller than Ness, but not taller than Mario. And what do you know, Banjo-Kazooie is taller than Ness, but not taller than Mario. Banjo-Kazooie also happens to be floaty, like Brave is, as well as having traction on the ground, so like slipping when trying to change directions. And what do you know, Banjo-Kazooie also has traction uh, in his games. When he tries to change directions, he'll slip. So yeah, Banjo, it's very possible Banjo-Kazooie is our second DLC fighter, but 
Uh, even if he isn't, I still think Banjo-Kazooie is gonna be in the first fighter pass. So now I just want to talk about the final possi- I want to quickly talk about the final possibility of who could be brave. Uh, Sora from the Kingdom Hearts franchise. So Sora is taller than- Sol Sora is taller than Ness, uh, but shorter than Mario, which is Brave's t a height. Uh, Sora is- Sora is floaty. Sora could have been a, just like Brave. Sora could have been a base from Me Sword Fighter, which uh, uh, relates to that glitch that happened in a few patches ago. Yeah, that's all I have to say for Sora. I, do, I still also I still think he's possible. And the last thing I want to mention about him is he could he could be promoting he could promote Kingdom Hearts three or Kingdom Hearts three coming to the Switch if that's ever possible. So. So yeah, I just wanted to quickly talk about Sora, and now let's move on. So now the final thing I want to talk about today in this news video is uh, the missing spirits uh, being playable fighters theory. So a while back we had this data mine about how there's going to be apparently three more fighter passes because there's 15 more character slots in the files. Originally there was 30, I don't know why Nintendo removed that, but supposedly there's going to be three more fighter passes. So if this is true, and uh, there is no sign of the missing spirit characters, I'm not going to name them, there's no sign of the missing spirit characters yet, and they, they, a lot of events have gone by and they could have been added by now, since... Uh, sometimes during events they add uh, certain spirit characters, but I feel like they would have been added by now. At least, like at least one of the missing spirits characters could have been added by now, but they aren't. So this, so this does mean I do think we're gonna get a second fighter pass. Uh, and there's, yeah, I do think there's gonna be a second fighter pass. This, yeah. So yeah, these missing spirit characters, I think this points to a second fighter pass happening. I don't know about a third one yet, but I do think a second fighter pass is probably in the works with all uh, with missing spirit characters. So that's all for today's news video. I know it was a bit on the short side. I might have a video talking about whether sp spirits deconfirm characters or not, or I'll just shove it into my next news video. So yeah, that's all I have to say for now. Thank you guys for watching and take care.